welcome to Las Vegas. We're here at the NAB Show 2017, the biggest expo for broadcast and media content. It's the show where all the latest creative developments are on display. I'm Ashley Blankenship with InBroadcast. Joining me is Trisha from Cineo. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Awesome. Uh, so first of all, let's just jump right into it. Um, tell me a little bit about Cineo. Sure, Cineo Lighting, we focus on white light specific fixtures, primarily for broadcast, motion picture, really anything that deals with the camera. Camera capture and how we build white light is our primary focus. Very cool. Now you have a couple new products you're going to show me. I believe one's right here. You want to tell me about this? Yeah, this is the next generation of the HS product line. We've been doing remote phosphor for a few years in major broadcast studios, educational markets, small insert stages, motion picture. And it's been a really great tool for consistent known color temperatures. However, control is starting to become the name of the game and people are looking for ways to manipulate that. So the HSX is building on the white light quality we built with the HS Remote Phosphor Series, putting it back onto diodes and giving us the ability to control color temperature from 2700 to 6500 without having to make physical changes at phosphor panels. Very nice. And so did you want to demo this at all? Or? Well, there's just elegance to it. The ability to make the change right here on fixture as opposed to doing the physical hard slide. It's just really nice and convenient. And you have something else you're going to show us, is that right? Yeah, we took this a step further and now we're starting to add RGB on top of the white light base. And this is happening in a much larger fixture. I'd love to show it to you. Okay, let's head over and check it out. Cool. Okay, so what is it that we have here? This is the Quantum C80. Uh, it is our first foyer into adding RGB on top of our known consistent white light base. It's pretty fun. Uh, we approach the RGB color space a little bit different than other companies do. As I was telling you earlier, having consistent clean white light as a reference source is our number one priority. So when you start to bring red, green, and blue into it, you have the opportunity to jeopardize that. So to balance that out, we always start with white light first, and then we add hue and saturation on top of it. It keeps the science of it accurate, but then it gives you the ability to get a little artistic with it, with flavor. Uh, the controls on this is something I really enjoy because you're able to find it on a digital reference through that uh, mainline color temperature, but then you can add a little bit of the flare um, with red, green, blue, cyan, orange, magenta, and a little bit of saturation to play. Very nice. Yeah, we like to keep it as elegant as possible, as simple as possible, but still giving you those tools to really explore the elements of control that everybody's truly looking for. So for people that want to know more about these products and see more, I know we couldn't get fully into depth, but what's yeah. the website they can go to? It's www.cineolighting.com, and we actually just launched a brand new website, so please do come by if you haven't been there before. Or if you have been there before, come back by because we got some new content up. Okay, CineoLighting.com. Everyone check them out. Trisha, thank you. Thank you very much.